what's up guys welcome back to the channel we get you on the grind improve your mind in this video we're going to talk about a little reddit post we're going to dissect what's going on in this relationship and see what you can do to improve yourself let's go all right mike's going to read off what the situation we got here and we're going to react and give some actionable advice for anyone listening to give you a good perspective and so let's see what we got yeah so i'll put it up on the screen so you can read along uh it says is this weird so I'm talking to this girl, we've been talking since December, and recently she has been getting pretty stressed and tired from work. I sometimes joke around and even ask her where she works because I would like to buy her lunch that day, slash flowers, etc. But she would always come back playfully saying I'm not telling you. Would it look bad if I were to call places that do the same business I know she works as and ask if she works there just so I can have those things delivered and make her feel... Uh, make her feel just a little bit better question mark. I don't know why you guys do this to yourself First of all, let's go back to the beginning I, You know, it's crazy that a lot of these a lot of people really just work themselves to death and uh, A lot of you guys out there you really hate your jobs and it actually affects your brain chemistry You literally like over time you literally just drown in sorrow from from some of these jobs that You'd be working at the guy says he's been talking to her since uh, was December and she's getting you know just like every everybody that I know, that you know, they they're at these jobs that they hate, and they're always stressed out, and they're always pissed off all the time. They don't work on themselves. They don't eat healthy. They go home. They 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 binge watch Marvel movies, and they drink themselves to death, and they just hate themselves. A lot of you guys really need to find the real meaning of life and get out of your horrible routine they get going on. But besides that, a girl who doesn't even want to tell you where she works, uh, and you know, kind of playfully, I mean, either she's an OnlyFans girl and she's just afraid to tell you, so there's always that. Who knows? Or it's just kind of a lack of genuine desire, I think, just because, you know, a girl doesn't want to tell you where she works, and you're trying to... You said that you've been talking since December. I don't know... I think it was... I think since this was put up, it was like four months. So it's even longer now, but since this put up, was originally, I guess, put up, that was like... The, since December was four months, so that <laughs> do the math. I think it's like February, uh, March or February. Yeah, or that, that's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Like... Four months and you don't know where she works, uh, buddy. I think you need to either move on or you need to bang other girls. I mean, I think there's no other, there's no other solution there. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's really. And if she's playfully saying, "I'm not telling you," that's just kind of weird. I think, yeah, yeah. The question is, is this weird? The answer is yes, it is weird. At least you know this is your fault because you're allowing this kind of thing to go on where you're allowing this kind of person in your life that doesn't want to tell you where she works so that's on you and, and now you want to do some creepy shit and you want to be like should i what is it saying should i it, call places just call places that that do the exact same thing that she says that she does for work just to see if she works at that specific place because that he doesn't know which it, i mean if you don't have the content if you don't have the information of these things why even bother doing it imagine being imagine just calling different places to see if your girl works there what kind of relationship are you in, bro? What are you doing? The th and the thing is, is that you need, you need friends. I, actually, the worst part of this whole thing is that they're not even together. They're not even together. They're talking. I bet he hasn't I'm even talking smashed to yet. this girl. I bet he hasn't smashed yet. And we'll never know. But the thing is, is that if you're going to do something like that, do it with someone that actually gives you the information and do it with someone who actually genuinely desires you. If they genuinely desire you, they're going to tell you exactly where they work, what they do, and all that stuff. And so, like, then you would be able to, you'd, you'd have that ability to do that. By you not knowing these things and, and you still wanting to do that, you just look like a creep. You look like you look stupid. Something's going to happen in it and it's not going to look really well on your end. And, you know, the, anything could be anything can happen and it can be turning out really bad. And you want to be buying flowers and, and sending them. You just, why are you, bu why are you buying flowers for a girl who doesn't want to tell you where she works? Yeah. And why would you do that when you could just just bring it to her place? Like, that's so retarded. <laughs> like, <laughs> why would you want to bring it to her job that you have no idea where she works? I, when I, you could just use the information that you know and just bring it to the bring it to her place. I don't think this Dumb. male is ready for a relationship yet. I think you need to work on yourself. Yeah. I think you need to find out what is going on in your brain that's allowing you to... Uh, act this way with some chick that you're only a couple months in you're literally saying that you know You're gonna buy her lunch that day and flowers. It's not gonna make her like you more first of all So, yeah. you know, she's gonna be like oh this guy. Yeah, I don't even think she likes you man I think she you know you probably have some really good health insurance You have good life insurance and she knows that and she's ready to take action upon this you are the mark You are you are the savior. You are the captain. You the well, not, you know, you're not the captain. You're the hero that she needs right now, but not the one that she's going to need forever. So I think you need to examine your brain and see what's going on. Maybe get a CAT scan or something. You know what's going to make her feel better is good dick. 
Now, I know this sounds weird to some of you guys out there, but good dick will make any woman feel a lot better. So you're probably not giving a good dick, and you need to work on that. But I think you need to dissect yourself a little bit and uh, maybe find out why you're trying to do these things for her and if it's really worth it. And she, you know, she's obviously stressed out all the time because you're typing this, so probably a little more there than we might think going on. So I think you really need to look into that. I would say don't do any of this creepy stuff. It's not worth it. And yikes. Okay, so in my in my uh, opinion here, so they've been talking and, and apparently it's been four months, right? And the first question I have in my mind is, is, has it not gone anywhere because you don't want it to go anywhere? Or if, or is it not going anywhere because she doesn't want it to go anywhere? By the rest of this, by the, by this paragraph, it seems like she doesn't want it to go anywhere. And so then my question to this, this guy is, why are you still there? If, she, if she clearly is pretty much giving you that, uh, sense that she, she doesn't want this to really progress anymore. Why would you want it to? Why would you want to entertain this anymore? If you're, you know, if your thoughts are not uh, in the the same as hers, if she doesn't want to progress this, you know, this talking phase and wants to make it like a, you know, wants to start like dating, actually dating or whatever, and she just wants to, you know, just see you and just, you know, not really do much and not really progress any type of relationship forward, and but you want to progress this, then you guys are just not in the same spot, and you probably shouldn't be here. And if you think that by giving her lunch and uh, pretty much flowers and stuff will help, it's not because her, her mind is already set and her mind, her mindset is already in a place where she doesn't want anything to really happen. And so in that case, if you want things to happen, but she doesn't, then you need to just leave and you just need to find someone else because there's millions of other people that might be in the same spot that you are in the same mindset that you are. And you know, you can go find them at any point you can find them right now and you can find them while you're in the middle of dealing with this person the thing is, is that if you're dealing with people that have a different mindset as you and you're trying to talk to them you know trying to have this talking phase with them and you can see and you can clearly tell by whatever they say and the, and their body language and stuff they're not on the same level as you then you know already that you need to just leave and it's that simple that's right. If you're not going to listen to me, listen to him. He knows. With that said, guys, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to donate to the channel, there's a cash app a link in the description. You could, uh, you know, the money goes towards equipment for the show, for the channel. And uh, if you, you know, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Like the video. And we will see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment on what you think about this post. Will you